Hey YouTube family, this is Kenya with 40 Entrepreneur Drive. This is my channel where I'm documenting my journey to become a successful entrepreneur, although I have no formal or previous business experience. Today's video is going to be on business tax deductions. If you're a small business, small startup, or thinking about becoming an entrepreneur, this is a list of 92 items that you should familiarize yourself with. And of course, this is not an all-inclusive list. Uh, I do encourage you to do your own research and also uh, fact-checked and double-checked the information that I'm giving you as I am not a tax expert. But this is a list of 92 small business tax deductions. Um, this information comes from bigcommerce.com. The author is Melissa Hollis. And I'm just going to run through this list here really quick and maybe throw out just a couple of examples of things that um, I'm keeping track of. So uh, familiarize yourself with this list and also make sure you're keeping track of receipts and documenting as you're going along on your own business journey. Okay, let's jump right into it. Uh, 92 small business tax deductions. Your accounting fees, number one, your accounting fees. You should have a certified uh, public accountant or a professional tax advisor. Uh, my suggestion, at least when you're first starting out, because there are so many um, nuances with businesses uh, that you want to make sure you're not missing out on any opportunities to... Uh, deduct and you want to make sure you're not trying to include something that you shouldn't deduct. So accounting fees are deductible. Advertising and marketing is number two. So those Facebook ads, those uh, Instagram ads, <clears throat> any type of method you're using online to boost your sales, even um, physical products like business cards, advertising and marketing, those are tax write-offs. Keep the receipts. Keep your physical receipts. Keep, keep, keep your email receipts. Any type of invoices that you get in your email, um, keep track of those. Amortization. So if you have something that you're paying on uh, that's for business expenses, a business tool, a business use, the amortization for that is tax deductible. Uh, number four, bad debts that you cannot collect. Number five, banking fees. And I'm talking about a business account, not your personal account. If you have a business or you're trying to start a business, you need to have a separate account for that. So that business account and the banking fees that are associated with that um, are tax deductible. Number six, board meetings. Now, I'm a sole proprietorship, so it's just me and my business. I am not an LLC or an incorporation. Uh, once you get to those levels and you um, are required to have board meetings, uh, expenses that are associated with the, that is tax deductible. Number seven, building repairs and maintenance. If you have a physical business for your uh, company, things related to that, Upkeep, maintenance, repairs is tax deductible. Uh, also, if you have a home office, which I'll read about a little bit uh, down the list, um, some of those expenses are also tax deductible. Number eight, business association membership dues. Chamber of Commerce, Small Business Association, any type of business-related association that you are a member of that requires yearly or even monthly dues, those are tax deductible. Business travel. Uh, there are some specifics associated with that. I encourage you to do some research on that yourself. Caf number 10, cafeteria health insurance plan, which requires a plan. I don't know anybody with a small business that might have that, but keep that in mind. That is something that you can write off. Um, 11, car expenses. So we're talking about your fuel. I have gotten into the habit of using my business uh, credit card specifically for fuel just to help me keep track of this. So uh, fuel, maintenance, uh, your mileage. Uh, yeah, that's number 11, car expenses. 12, charitable deductions made for a business purpose. Number 13, charity or traveling to perform charitable services. Number 14, cleaning and janitorial services. I mentioned in a previous video that I am considering uh, hiring someone to help me keep my home clean. And i I don't know what portion of that will be tax deductible, but that will be included in my, my business deductions to help me clean my office area and just to help me um, delegate some chores and tasks so that I can focus on my business more. Number 15 is collection expenses. Um, that goes back up to the 
the debt. So if someone owes you money and you need to have expenses to collect on that debt. Number 16, commissions to outside parties. Number 17, computer and tech supplies. Number 18, consulting fees. Uh, in a previous video, I had a consultation um, with an e-commerce e-commerce marketer, um, Chris Brinkley, and that was actually a free consultation, which was very cool of him to do. But if you do have consulting fees for your business, know that those are tax deductible. Number 19, continuing education for yourself to maintain licensing and improve skills. The business books that I have recently purchased, recommended by uh, Montina, aka Spark Wisdom, those are educational tools for my business. I have the receipts from Half Price Books and I will be deducting those. Number 20, contractors. If you have someone doing contract work for you, it's deductible. Number 21, conventions and trade shows, which are great places to network and uh, meet people for your business and also to uh, find new products for your business. 22, credit card convenience fees. 23, depreci depreciation. 24, discounts to customers. 25, eating out while you're traveling for business. 26, education and training for your employees. Uh, 27, employee wages. 28, employee benefits. 29, entertainment for customers and clients. Number 30, equipment. So if you bought a new printer, a new computer, a new uh, lighting set, anything that's associated with your business that's equipment, that is an asset that helps you make money, is tax deductible. Keep the receipts. Equipment repairs. Uh, number 30, uh, is number 31. 32 is exhibits for publicity. So flyers, handouts, handbills, uh, any type of signage that you're going to be having, um, even the magnetic stickers or vinyl stickers that you would put on your car. I've got a couple. Those are exhibits for publicity. Uh, 33, family members' wages. I might do a uh, video on this if you guys are interested in it. I have a 21-year-old son, as I meant, uh, shown in a previous video, who's not interested in the business. But if he was, his wages would be deductible. I also have a 12-year-old daughter who's somewhat interested. And her wages... Um, She's not a tax-paying citizen, so that's that's an interesting situation. But if you guys want in another video on that, let me know in the comment section, and I will uh, make a video on that. Number 34, franchise fees. So if you want to own um, a McDonald's, want to own a... Um, I can't think of anything other than McDonald's, but there's plenty of franchises around, and um, even the UPS store. Like, if you want to own a UPS store, those franchise fees uh, are tax-deductible. Freelancers, number 35, 36, freight or shipping costs, 37, furniture or fixtures, 38, gifts for customers or employees, up to $25, number 39, group insurance if qualifying, number 40, guard dog, if you specifically bought a dog to guard your premises, your property, for your business, that is tax deductible, number 41, gym for employees, that has to be located on site 42 health insurance 43 home office um, there's some specifics to that you, that you need to do research on number 44 insurance premiums for credit liability malpractice workman's comp and other insurance number 45 interest interest 46 internet hosting and services so your internet your uh, website fees your hosting fees anything dealing with that is tax deductible. Number 47, your inventory. There are some specifics to that, so please do your research. Number 48, investment advice and fees. Uh, I'm thinking about doing a video on uh, Not Your Dad CPA. I recently signed up for one of his uh, module programs, uh, educational programs, and he gives some uh, tax advice uh, for specifically for small business and e-commerce. 49 is legal fee, legal fees. <clears throat> Number 50 is license fees. Uh, 51 is management fees. 52 is materials. 53 is maintenance. 54, medical expenses with a plan. Number 55, your mortgage interest or on business property. On your business property. So if you have a home office, which I do, the percentage of my physical space that is for business purposes uh, the interest on 
my house, that percentage of the house that I use for business is uh, tax deductible. 56, moving expenses. 57, newspapers and magazines must be business related. So we're talking about business journals, um, the Wall Street Journal. Um, 58, office supplies and expenses. Uh, keep those uh, Office Depot receipts on hand. Number 59, outside services. Number 60, payroll processing. 61, payroll taxes for employees, including Social Security, Medicare taxes, and unemployment taxes. Number 62, parking and tolls. I recently went downtown Fort Worth to register my businesses uh, as a DBA. Um, I was parking on the street, the little receipt. I did take a picture of that for... Uh, tax purposes. Uh, one of the previous times I went downtown for business purposes, I had to park in a parking garage. Those are deductible. Number 63, penalties and fines paid for late performance or non-performance of a contract. 64, pension plan. 65, permits and fees. 66, postage. Uh, I do eBay. I talked about that before. The postage that I pay <clears throat> on sending those deliveries out is tax deductible. 67 profit sharing uh, 68 publicity 69 prizes for contestants those of you who have a YouTube channel who um, have giveaways you need to be treating your business your YouTube channel as a business and those expenses to purchase those um, unless they're free but those to purchase those prizes for those giveaways tax deductible 70 real estate re related expenses 71 rebates on sales 72 rent rent and storage rental, 73 research and development, 74 retirement plan, 75 royalties, 76 a safety deposit box, 77 a safe, 78 service fees, 79 software and online services. I have uh, GoDaddy bookkeeping. That is an online service. <clears throat> if I was to get the, the, uh, the CD-ROM for like Intuit or QuickBooks, that would be tax deductible. 80 startup expenses. 81, stereo equipment for playing background music at work. That's interesting. Okay. Number 82, storage rental, which I uh, mentioned before. 83 is subcontractors. 84 is taxes. When I just got my taxes done, the the amount that cha they charged me, because I got my uh, 2017 and 2018s done. So when I filed for my 2017s, that amount was actually deducted from my 2018s. Um, 80 phone, telephone, we're talking about landline and cell phone and business lines, specific business lines. I have a GoDaddy uh, business line that's attached to my cell phone. It has its own number, but it rings through my phone. That is tax deductible. 86, theft and loss. 87, tips. When you're out on business and you're leaving tips, just because you do not get a receipt does not mean you can't deduct the cost, but you should document it just the same. 88, uniforms for your employees. 89, utilities. 90, waste removal. And we're not just talking garbage here. Think about the uh, portable on-site, uh, the trucks that come and shred your uh, documents for you, your sensitive uh, information. That is waste removal as well. 91, website design. 92, workers' compensation insurance. And that's it. That's it for the tax deductible items. Again, I'm sure there's more than that. And of, of course, for the ones that I mentioned, make sure you do your research because there are sometimes specifics to these things that, um, or a limit that can be deducted. Now I'm going to go through 11 deductions that you should not try to claim for your business. Number one, a small business loan. So you can deduct whatever you purchase with the loan, but the actual loan itself cannot be deducted. Number two, business attire that you can wear outside of work. So don't just go shopping and think that everything that you put on uh, your card is going to be um, tax deductible. It has to be specific business attire specifically for your business. Number three, con contributing your time to charity. Not the mileage and, and uh, fuel that it took you to get there, but the, the actual time is not deductible. Four, membership dues, even to a professional organization. So your local Kiwanis Club, your local Lions Club, no, not deductible. Um, federal income tax payments, no. Number six, your life and disability insurance premiums, if you're a sole proprietor, which I am, partnership or S-corporation. 
escort. Seven, lobbyist. Eight, penalties and fines you pay as a result of breaking the law. Speeding tickets. No, 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 don't do it. Even if you're speeding to a business uh, event, no, that, that, no, no. Number nine, political contributions are not tax deductible. Number 10, professional accreditation fees. And number 11, your own salary if you are a uh, sole proprietor. So let me know if I missed anything on this list. Let me know if there's any questions that you have. Again, I am not a tax professional. I highly, highly recommend that you um, have any specific legal questions that you refer those to a tax attorney or at least a certified public uh, accountant. But these, this was 92 small business tax deductions um, to use, to keep track of, something to... Um, just put those ideas in your mind as you're conducting your business or your startup, different things that you need to be keeping track of. Um, I would err on the side of caution and keep all of my receipts. If you don't need them later on down the line, don't include them, but keep track of all your receipts. There's so many free and low cost apps that you can use to digitally capture these. If you want to, um, scan you can scan them you can keep them physically in a, a safe location where you know the ink won't fade or anything or you can scan them or like I said there's apps out here I use Expensify it's a free app but if you it, it you can only you can only upload like a, I want to say four receipts a day but if you pay four dollars a month you can have unlimited ones unlimited upload so still pretty uh, reasonable all right thank you for um watching and listening this particular presentation this is going to be done um well this was done in a slideshow form right now i'm just doing the voice narration but there there will be images to go to this let me know what you think about this particular format as opposed to some of the other videos that i've updated uh uploaded excuse me if you haven't done so already like the video like 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 i like likes um, share this video with someone that would find it beneficial. If you found this information, um, valuable and useful, please consider subscribing and hitting the notification bell so that the next time I upload, upload or go live, you'll be the first one to know. Again, this is Kenya with 40 Entrepreneur Drive. I appreciate you, uh, watching the video and I will see you on the next round. Bye.